Hello everyone. Thanks for watching. So when you open iMovie, just create new and select movie. If you do trailers, then you can have different options there, but you can import the My Media. Find your listing photos that you have. So get them if you can. And then select import select it. And they'll all be in the kind of this section up here at the top. Just drag and drop them down. When you drag and drop them, they preload about four seconds for the still photos. If you just drag a little dragger on the near the settings there, it'll shorten the project down so it's not so wide, so they're a little bit smaller, um, so it's not taking up so much of your space at the bottom. And then you just kind of drag and drop the photos that you want um, to use. And in order, if you mess up the order, that's fine. You can just drag one and move it in front of the other. Um, but try and drag them, drop them in order that you can. So it'll save you some time. And we're gonna do some transitions and a couple little options for you. But um, basically all we're gonna do is make a slideshow with the photos and add some music to it. Um, and that will give you kind of a nice little video clip to share on social media or your YouTube channel, etc. So. You just go up once you have it all set you we have almost a minute there which is perfect um, you're gonna select audio and just go through and this is all preloaded stuff with iMovie that you can use or you can go to Google music and get any free copyright um, uh, stuff that you can use free to use um, that's not copyright and drag and drop the song on the bottom you see it's a little too long so if you just click it and drag it um, to the length that you want then you will be fine and at the end you can just click backgrounds choose a background that you want to use just going to go with something simple here um, and put it at the end of your clip that'll give you a couple seconds to put a little um, outro or you can even use it as an intro at the beginning if you want to put your name and information there email phone number whatever you want um, don't forget to put your brokerage information and stuff like that on there so you can just type in the text, adjust the size that you want it to look, um, change around, play with the colors, fonts, all that kind of stuff. But this is just a basic video to kind of show you what to do. And you can adjust the length of it too. I think it's set for four seconds when you drop it in, but you can just adjust that. All you do is click on the item and you can um, click on the little time that it says and it will, you can adjust the little time frame for make it shorter or longer. And, uh, make sure your audio matches up to the end of wherever your clip ends and then what you can do is just go into your transitions if you want to get a little fancy you don't have to do it it'll just switch from photo to photo um how you have it set but if you want it different transitions you just scroll across them to see what they look like circle in circle out spin outs and different things like that and it'll just make the transition from one photo to the other a little nicer and cleaner and less abrupt um, but it will also eat into the time frame so your four second photo will now become about three and a half seconds uh, to about three if you have a transition on either side of it so because it takes about a half a second transition to switch from one to the other you can adjust that as well but I don't suggest playing around with that too much because it could look a little funny so you see how those transitions just kind of made it a little bit more um, professional a little bit more interesting to keep looking at then if you want to get a little fancy you're you're good to export your video now and start uploading but if you want to get fancy make it look like a video clip if you have video clips that what's the best if you have pan shots of every room that's kind of gives it more of a video feel um, you can just drag and drop them like you were doing the photos but if you don't you can just um, go up to here to the crop section Ken Burns and you do a start and an end point and so what I'm doing here is just making sure that the both are the same size so it doesn't zoom in and out on us and you start it on the left and end it on the right or however you want to do it top to bottom right to left however you want just start it at one side and end the other as long as it's the same size it's gonna look like you're panning across the room now you'll see it's zoomed in a bit so we lose a little bit of the photo so you got to be a little careful with that but as you can see it looks like someone's taking a camera and panning it into the room so it gives it the video more of a video feel than just a slideshow of different pictures you can go through it and do that on every photo if you want um, or just some of the ones that you want to highlight um, and again you know 
making it the same size is best. If not, it's just going to look like you're zooming in or out, which is also a cool option to do if you want to get artistic that way as well. Here's one just showing you what it will look like going from uh, bottom to top on that. So the little drag and drop, the little cursor you see that slide now looks like a video pan going up from the bottom to the top, which is kind of cool. It just gives it a little neat little extra flair for a couple extra seconds or minutes on your video. It's kind of well worth it to do. Um, and then once you have it set, you just go up to the top to the file and you export it out. I always like to do file. You can do direct to YouTube or email or Facebook from there, but I like to export it in a file. Then I have the file saved and I can export it up or upload it up to YouTube or wherever I want it as well. Um, save it as you want. You can adjust the resolution and all that different kind of stuff. You can do just video or just audio um, or both on there. Make sure, I think it's default to both, make sure. And then export it out and then you're good to go. And hope this video helps. Enjoy.